Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be jumping in to something I told you I would make, and I feel like our people in the early game don't really pay much attention to, which are legendaries. Um, they are also, I mean, they're kind of paid attention to, but, like, that's kind of a final goal. They're not really farmed directly straight for them, and I would do exactly that. Farm straight for these characters. And, yeah. The first one is Grand Master Yoda. He spreads buffs, and, like, that's just awesome, because the more buffs you have on your team... I think the better the characters are gonna be. Um, and, yeah, there's just, um, then he just does tons and tons of damage. So, he is an awesome character for damage, plus, he's super easy to speed up, like, these aren't insane mods, but they're decent mods, like, Plus 9 speed, plus 32 speed. Like, they're okay mods. They could be better. Oh, I'm gonna be honest here. But, he's... My Yoda right here is 227 speed. Pretty fast Yoda. But, you just want to make it so he takes your first turn. And, he, let's be honest here. He is one of the best characters in all of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes that is not a galactic legend. The next is Jedi Re Jedi Knight Revan. Sadly, he he's limited to all character all players level 85, which is a hold back. But he does he does a lot of damage. His savior lets you restore any ally, any, I think it's any ally, it might be any Jedi ally. Yeah, I th it is all allies, and it, it it's even him if he's in the leader slot. His direct focused, um, stuns, stuns the target. He can also... Avoid taunt if there's je other Jedi allies. The characters needed for him are these. They're, those characters, they're harder to get. Yoda, you need lit roughly any Jedi. And, like, let's be honest, Jedi are some of the easiest characters to get in the game. So, yeah, Yoda... It's pretty easy to get. Um, Emperor Palpatine. He. You can use any. Rebel. I would suggest the Phoenix. Because. Yeah. Phoenix are just awesome for early game. There is no limit. And he's just an overall awesome character. With his shocks and stuns. Yeah, you really want to start farming him. So, yep, you just, yeah, the, all of these characters are awesome characters. So, make sure you at least grind for two of them. And all four for late game. Finally, Grand Admiral Thrawn. His fracture, it's it's unmatched by any character. It literally it literally me makes it so he, your opponent can't move until he takes another turn, or Grand Admiral Thrawn is taken out. If you have Grand Admiral Thrawn in the leader slot, then It, um, his ability, if you select his action, um, the action he provides, 
it slows down his turn meter. It also heals the ally that is that you're using it for. So yeah, you can only get him with Phoenix. But let's be honest, the Phoenix are the greatest starting team because they unlock both Thrawn and Palpatine, but this is not an ad for the Phoenix. This is an ad for the legendaries. And so if you want to find out about Phoenix and where to farm them, make sure that you go to the video, the select video at the end. Um, just so you guys know how you get to finding them, you go to the journey guide and you can find them here. See, as you can see, I have Revan unlocked, I have Yoda unlocked fully, and I also have Palpatine fully unlocked. So, yeah, these this is where you can get to them without having to search their names in the characters, which you can filter here, by the way, in case you're searching for a special character. But, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful, and I'll see you guys in another video.